This is chapter two, elementary programming, programming exercise two, compute the volume of a cylinder. So we're going to write a program that reads in the radius and length of a cylinder and compute the area and volume using the following formulas. All right, so to calculate for area, it is radius times radius times pi. Now the radius is going to be the input that we're going to give it. So it's going to calculate, it's going to take that and calculate that. And then after we calculate for the area, we're going to be able to calculate for the volume because it's going to take area times length. So how that's going to look is that the console is going to display this message, enter the radius and length of a cylinder. We're going to enter 5.5 and 12, and it's going to take this 5.5 and 12, and it's going to calculate, and then we're going to display the result. And we're going to say, hey, the area is 95.0331, and the volume is 1140.4. So all of this is going to happen in five simple steps. Step one, display a string. Step two, enter the numbers. Step three, calculate for the area. Step four, calculate for the volume. And step five, display the result. So all of that is going to be done within those five steps. So let's tackle with step one, display the string. So what we're going to do is we're going to display the message, right? We want the user to enter the radius and length of a cylinder. So we're going to go to our console and we're going to say system.out.print enter the radius and length of the cylinder. All right. So just with that, we can't just enter the uh, the radius and the length of the cylinder. Uh, Java is not expecting us to, uh, or expecting any input from us. And that's because we're going to uh, we haven't told it to expect any input. So to do that, we're going to first create a variable called input of scan uh, scanner data type equals new scanner, and we're gonna uh, and it's going to scan the system input. All right, so now with this, we could write, we could uh, work our way toward uh, letting Java know that we're uh, expecting some kind of input from the console. All right, now let's see, we, oh, we're finished with step one. So let's go to step two. And step two, it says, enter the numbers. So to do that, we're going to First, create two double data type val variables called radius and length. And the reason for that is when we enter the numbers 5.5 and 12, right? We want to store them somewhere. If we just enter it onto the console and we don't store it anywhere, Java's gonna forget and uh, we're not going to be able to use those numbers. So that's why we are going to create two val data type variables first. And I'm going to create it up here, double radius comma length. All right. So what this is saying is, uh, hey, Java, I want to create a variable called radius of double data type, but I don't want to just create one variable. I want to create two variables. So I'm going to put a comma right here and then type in the next variable uh, name. And, and with that, Java knows that this variable is also of double data type. All right. Now, to uh, receive an input from the console, we're going to say radius equals input dot next double. And then length equals input dot next double. And then to show you that we got it, let's have it displayed. So it'll be a radius length. All right, so let's see. So we want to enter something like this. Enter the radius of a cylinder, 5.5 space 12, and then have the uh, compiler read all of that and enter it into the variable. So when we run it, it's going to ask us to enter the radius and the length of the cylinder. We will enter 5.5 and make sure to put a space 12. If we don't put a space, it's going to read that as one single number. All right, it's going to read that as one single number. So make sure to put a space right in between. 
All right, so after that, you click enter and Java will read it and it will store that radius and length into that number. Now let's see, uh, let me just 5.5, 12, click enter and here we go. So right here, it display that number right back, radius and length, all right? Now, you gotta make sure you don't make the mistake of flipping it backwards. So the way we're re uh, writing it is that it, the first number is going to read, is going to store that into the radius variable. And the next number that it reads is going to store into the length variable. So we flip it, we do, we do 12 and 5.5, guess what? It's going to say that the radius is now 12 and that the length is now 5.5. So how about I make that a little more clear. So I do something like this. So slash N is for new line. That way it'll be more visible. Uh, let's see, there we go. All right, you have to add this concat so that way it knows that you're concatenating a string with a uh, variable right here. So it says enter radius and length, but if you flip it around and you enter 12 first, then you enter 5.5, then you'll see that the radius is 12 and the length is 5.5. We don't want that. We want the radius to be 5.5, length to be 12. So make sure uh, when you're doing this, you are uh, not uh, inputting this incorrectly. All right. So that is the thing that might mess with you. Now, that is what uh, the task wants us to do. But of course, you don't always have to follow the task. If you wanna make yourself a little more clear, simply remove this line right here. Say, enter the radius, and then you uh, receive the input. All right, then you receive the input and store it into radius. Then you could say, enter the length. That way, it becomes much more clear to you, all right? So say enter the radius, then you could uh, enter 5.5. Now I say enter length, 12, and now we got it correctly. Radius is 5.5, length is 12. So you wanna do something like that if you don't wanna confuse yourself and mess things up, okay? All right, so on to the next task. Uh, calculate for the area. Now to calculate for the area, we could simply use the formula area equals radius times radius times pi. So that's could be, that could be very simple, right? We could simply say uh, area and put that all in here, system.out.print area is uh, radius times radius times 3.14159. Bam. And we could say, oh, because of that, we're done. Um, area is 95.0330975, which if we were to compare it, is that correct? 95.331, and it's missing the other part, but that's okay. Um, if we do that, all right, that kind of work, but here's the issue we have here. If we were to go to step four, now we have to grab area times it with length, but we never saved the area. We just displayed it. We, ha we all have to grab it right here and then write it back, but that's not a uh, good uh, programming practice. You should always save this area to a variable if you know you're gonna use it again. So what we're gonna do for good programming practice is to create another variable called area. And then I wanna create one more. I'm gonna call this pi. And I'm gonna use math.pi. All right, now this variable will store the pi value. So in Java, they have, um, a, uh, these values that you could just pull up and store it uh, into a variable. Um, 
But of course, in chapter two, we haven't learned that yet. Since in chapter two, we haven't learned that, you could simply, you don't have to use this, right, to get the exact value. You could simply just say 3.14159, right? And there we got pi. So either or, uh, whichever works better for you. In this case, math.pi will give me a more accurate result. So I'll use math.pi. And of course, it actually even shows you what that value is right here. Oh, okay, no, wait, hold on. Right, 3.1415926, so on and so forth. It'll give you a more accurate value. All right, so now that we got our area, we could, oh, uh, our area variable, we could calculate for it, which is radius times radius times pi. Uh, you don't have to create a variable for it in this case. You can even say math.pi, which works too. Now, you could use this instead of creating a variable because basically pi is just, uh, if you want to create your own var variable, then you could just set your own value right here, 3.14159, to whatever accuracy you want. Okay? So since I don't feel like uh, I want to create any more unnecessary variables, I could just remove that, right? So now that we calculate for our area and we store it into a variable called area, we could use it to calculate for our volume. And to calculate volume, it is area time times length. So that will be our final variable that we create right here, volume volume equals to area times the length. Here we go. All right. And then finally, for our last step, display the results. All right. So it's pretty simple, right? After you, we got all of this set up right here. It is pretty simple. All right. And we could say area is area equals area and then volume equals volume. So this is why it's so great to create the actual variable that way you don't have to put the whole gigantic calculation. You don't have to copy this and place it in there. When you know you already calculate for it, all you have to do is just grab that value and just uh, concatenate it with your string and you could display it. All right, so here we go. So 5.5 will be our radius, 12 will be our length, and then with all that calculation, we will have 95.0331 and 1,140.39, all right? Now in here, 0.4, it is a little shorter. Um, let's see, in future exercise, I'll show you how to format it to only show specific or uh, up to a specific length. But for now, that will be it for this video.